Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we will be solving lead code problem number 1203, sort items by groups, respecting dependencies. And one of the prerequisites of this problem is that we know topological sort. And in this video, I have explained topological sort in depth. And at the end of the video, I have shared a couple of problems just related to topological sort so that you will get an in-depth understanding. These are actually medium level problems. And we also have a dedicated telegram community which you can consider joining where we'll be discussing about these problems right so now let's get into the problem in this problem we are given n now let's assume what does this n mean today we have to perform eight tasks we have to perform eight tasks and we have two groups two groups right for example these are the eight tasks that we have to perform today and what does minus one indicate minus one indicates that these tasks doesn't belong to any group. Let's say, for example, task zero is watching Instagram. Task one is, say you want to hang out. And task two, say this is belonging to a group. This is belonging to a group. So let's put it out separately. Task two and task five, if you look here, belong to a group, belong to a group. And these are individual tasks which can be performed separately. That is watching Instagram, hanging out and Let's code this. This is 0. This will be 1. Now, again, again, 3, 4, 6 are grouped together. That is 3, 4, 6 are grouped together. Now, again, there is one more task. So that is 7, which is again not in a group. So, we have 0, we have 1, and we have 7. So, these are the different tasks that you have to do today. That is 0, 1, 7, 3, 4, 6, and 2, 5. Now, what is the group? What is the meaning of group? The meaning of group is that you have to perform all the tasks together. All these tasks have to be together performed. That is while performing this task, say you are preparing for an exam. While performing this, you are not allowed to watch an Instagram reel. Only after you have completed, you can go for another. But the thing is you have to complete all of these three and only then you can go to the next task. Similarly, this group also only after you are completed with this group you can go to the next group or next individual task that is the task within a group have to come together so these three have to come together these two have to come together and these can come up anywhere these can come up anywhere now what is expected in the problem in the problem it is expected that is we give an output stating in which way we will be performing the task so that is what is given that what that is what is expected out of the problem so how do we give that so we can just give it out right no we cannot just give it out why because there is a condition in the problem there is a condition in the problem which states that which states that before before you can perform task one before you can perform task one you should perform task six that is this is a sub task of preparing for your exam before you can watch an instagram reel you have to prepare for your exam that is what it means that is what it means right similarly task 2 say for example in this group within the same group only there is a dependency there is a dependency that is before performing 2 you have to perform 5 right so that is one of the dependency now again for 3 for 3 there is an interdependency say you are planning to record a youtube video you have to prepare then upload then you can do the other things right so that is what is mentioned in this finally what we have to give we have to give an order in which all of these tasks will be performed that is the expected output now let's look at what is topological sort what is topological sort we will just understand what is topological sort and if you know already know topological sort please do skip this section and you can directly dive into the uh, other section of the problem so now let's understand what is topological sort this is the basics of topological sort now let's think there are three tasks sorry there are four tasks zero one two three these are the four tasks that we have in front of us that we need to perform right now it is given for task zero there is no prerequisite that is you can do this task individually so what we'll be doing our task zero let's form a graph let's form a graph zero now in order to perform task one in order to perform task one these are the nodes of the graph in order to perform task one you should complete 
task 3 as well as task 0. This is what it means. Which means there is a dependency for task 1. That is only after you have completed 0 and 3 you can complete or start task 1. This is what it means. Now again to complete task 2 we should have completed task 0. And in order to complete task 2 we have to complete task uh, for 3 you have to complete task 2. So now this will be our graph. Now what is the order of the output? What is the order of the output? That is the way in which we can perform the task to do this. We will be using topological sort based on the idea of in degree. Now let's understand what is in degree. In degree means how many points are pointed towards that point. If you write here, if you write here while constructing this graph only what we can do we can write this. For 0, what is the in degree? The in degree is 0. For 1, how many in degrees are there? There are 2 in degrees. For 1, there are again 1 and 1. So 1 and 1. So now, what do we do? What do we do? How do we get the order? We use a stack for this. We use a stack for this. And we put all the elements that have 0 in degree because they don't have any dependency and this can be performed first. So now, let's perform 0. This is the only one which is having 0. So now let's perform this. Now after you have performed this, the in degree of 1 and the in degree of 2 will be reducing. Why? Because this task completion will free one task for this. So the in degree will be 1 now. The in degree will be 0 here. Now this doesn't mean we can perform 1. right? So again what do we do? Since this is 0 now, Again, this we will be adding this task that is task 2. Now, what did we pop first? 0. What are we popping up next? 2. So, now once we are done with 2, once we are done with 2, what is the next that we can pop? The next that we can pop is 1. Why? Because this will again get converted to 0. That is the in degree will be subtracted. So, again, we add 3 to this stack and we will clear this out. Finally, 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 once we have completed this 3, this will also become 0. That is all the neighbors in degrees are reduced, are reduced. So let us write the graph first to have a more in-depth understanding. From 0, what are its neighbor? 1 and 2 are its neighbors. From 1, what are its neighbor? There is no neighbor for this. That is, there is no out-directed graph for this. From 2, there is 3 and from 3, there is 1. Right. So now, once we have cleared something from the stack, we'll be going to its neighbor, we'll be going to its neighbor and it will be reducing the in degree by 1. That is when it got converted to 1 and 0. And if one of the in degree is 0, we'll be adding it to the stack once again and we'll be popping it and then once we are done with all this, this things, this will be the relative order of the things. That is you have to perform task 0 2, 3 and 1. Now, now let's understand the pseudo code of topological sort. What is the input of this? The input is we are given a graph that is in the form of a map. We are given the graph. Then we are also given an in degree array. Say for example, we formed the in degree here, right? So this will what be the in degree? In degree of 0 is 0. That is, there is no directed point to 0. That is, there is no dependency for 0. This will be the 0, 1, 1, 1. These are the two inputs for the problem. Now, what we will be doing? For every, we will check for everything. If it is a 0, we will be adding it to the stack. We will be adding it to the stack. Now, we will be adding 0 to the stack first, 0 to the stack. And we will check if the stack is not empty. If the stack is not empty, what we will be doing? We will be popping this from the stack. We will popping this from the stack and we will add it to the answer. That is 0. This will be our answer. Now, yeah, this has to be answer dot add current. That is this node has to be added to the answer or visited in this case. Now, after we are done with that, we have to go to every neighbor. We have to go to every neighbor and reduce the in degree of that. What are the neighbor of 0? 1 and 2. So, we will reduce it to by 1. So this will become 1 and this will become 0. Now there is a check. There is a check. If the in degree is becoming 0, what does this mean? This means we can add it to the 
stack once again. So we'll be adding task to now. Is the stack empty? No. So we'll be popping this and we'll be adding this to the answer. Now again, the same thing. What are two neighbors? Two neighbor is three and we can reduce the in degree. And once again, we can add it in the, into the stack. So remove once again three and finally we'll be doing the same thing. So this will be our answer. Now there are some scenarios where this length will not be equal to the actual in degree length. For example, there are four tasks here, but in some cases we will not be able to perform the task. In that case, we'll be returning an empty array. We'll be returning an empty array. But in this example, we'll be able to perform this task. So we'll be returning this order. Now let's dive into the actual problem. Now let's dive into the actual problem. In this problem, we are given n equals eight. That is, we have eight tasks and there are two groups. There are two groups, right? And these are the dependencies. These are the dependencies. Now, the first thing that we should be doing is to change the group of this minus one. Why? If all of them are having minus one, is it, it is confusing, right? That is, they belong to the same group. It indicates that they belong to the same group. But in fact, they don't belong to the same group, but they are individual group. So in order to write that what we are doing, since zero is taken, zero group number is taken, one group number is taken for all the minus one, for all the minus one, we are changing the group number from two and so on. So this zero will be given a group number of two and this will be given group number of three. And finally, this will be given a group number of four. So that is the first step that we'll be doing. Now, what is the second step we will be doing? The second step that we should be doing is to form the item graph and the group graph, right? It is not given in the problem. We are not given in a hash map or a graph way. So the second step we should be doing is to form the graph, to form the graph. So first let's form the item graph. These are the eight nodes or the eight tasks that we have in our hand, right? Now for zero, for zero, is there anything? No, right? For zero, there is no input. Now for one, for one, there is an input from six. That is, we have to complete six before we are completing one. So there is a graph from here. And I have added an extra node here, extra edge here, so that the problem will become much more intuitive or understanding. Now, for two, for two, there is one from five. Actually, they belong to the same group, so that it's okay. Now from for three, there is again from six, again, they belong to the same group. For four, there is one from three, one from six, and for five, for five, there is one from six. This is the extra edge that I have added so that it will become in. Now, there are no more edges. So these are all the edges and this will be our graph. So this is the first step that we have to do. That is we form a graph. On top of that, we should also be forming the in degrees of this, in degrees of all of this. What is the in degree of zero? The in degree of zero is zero. Then for one, it is one and so on. So Whenever we give this input to the topological sort, will it be able to give us the output? The first function that we wrote, topological sort, yes, it will give an order in which these tasks have to be performed. So this is the idea. We formed a graph and we also formed an in degree array and we will give it to that function and it will sort and give. But now the second case is not only the items have to be sorted, but the group also have to be sorted, have to be sorted, right? Why? Because this may be very haphazard way of telling for example we can do zero then we will do say four then we will again go to two and so on so in order to avoid that what we will be doing first we will be sorting the groups as well that is we will be forming a group graph as well so how do we form a group graph now we will look at on the right hand side that is on the red color i have written the group for group two for group two is there any input no for group two, there is no input. For group three, is there any input? Yes. For group three, that is one. One belongs to group three. And from where this is coming? From six. Actually, where does six belong to? Six belong to group zero. So from zero, we have a graph to group three, group number three. So this is what we'll be writing. From group zero, from group zero, there is an output point to group three and who is in group three on group three we have one so this is what it is indicated by this by this now now let's look at the next thing now let's look at the next thing that is 
for two for two which is belonging to this group do we have an input no it is the same group three and six again belong to the same group four three six they belong to the same group so no issues now five and six do they belong to the same group no five and six they don't belong to the same group so we should be writing a graph once again now how do we do that which group does six belong to six belong to group zero and five belongs to group one so again there is a graph from zero to one now again we should be forming this graph is done these are the only two edges that we'll be having and now again we'll be giving an in degree for zero it is zero for one it is one zero and so on so now what we are doing we formed an item graph we formed an item graph and we also formed a group graph group graph these are the two things why did we form because there is a criteria in the problem that the group task should be performed together and it should be also be performed prior to some other group task so we did a item graph and we also did a group graph so that will be the second step of the problem that is the second step of the problem the third step is we have to topological sort both the group as well as the item now let's look at what will be the topological sort of the items let's do it very fast now zero can it be performed individually yes zero can be performed if you look here now zero can be performed individually now one can it be performed individually no seven can be performed individually why because the in degree is zero now six what is the in degree of six there is nothing coming inside so six can also be performed now after, as soon as you perform six which is the next task that can be performed one can be performed after you have performed one is there any other dependency no three can be performed three can be performed now after three after three you can perform five as well five as well and finally we'll be performing two now three four five six seven one more is remaining zero one two three four four is remaining so four is the last one that will be performed or this can also be performed before two but the thing in topological sort is this order can be a little jumbled also and that will also be accepted i will show you at the end of the code how that will work so now this is the topological sort of just the items that is you can perform the items in this order but now there is an additional step that is the group now what will be the order of the group 0 2 4 1 3 simple 0 2 4 1 and 3 0 2 4 1 and 3 now what do we have to do what do we have to do we will be creating a hash map we'll be creating a hash map what we will do in that hash map zero is our first item and to which group does zero belong to zero belongs to group three so we will be adding in group three let us write all the groups these are the groups and now we'll be adding zero here this is the first task that can be performed in group three now we have seven to which group does 7 belong to? 7 belongs to group 4. So we'll be adding 7 here. Now, which is the next one? 6. 6 belongs to group 0. So we'll be adding 6 here. We'll be adding 6 here. Now again we have 1. To which group 1 belongs to? 1 belongs to the group 3. So, sorry. 1 belongs to, yeah. 1 belongs to group 3. 3 and here we have to add 0 and here we have to add 1 now which is the next one 3 5 2 let's look at 3 3 belongs to group 0 3 belongs to group 0 and similarly let's write it fast 6 3 4 then for 1 for 1 for 1 which comes first which comes first 5 comes first and then comes 2 5 comes first and then comes 2 so if you look here all the numbers are written 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All the 8 numbers are written. Now, what is the group order? The group order is this. What we will be doing, what we will be doing, we will take 0. Because this is the first group that can be performed. Now, 6, 3, 4. We will perform all the tasks. That is 6, 3, 4 first. What is the second group? You can perform 0th task. Uh, what is the fourth group? You can perform the 7th task. Now, now, we can perform the first 5 to then the last group that will be one this is one of the expected answers so there will be multiple answers for this for example this group can also be interchanged right for example this four and this one both have in degree zeros so that can be interchanged so there will be multiple answers for the same thing so all of them will be accepted this is one condition in topological sort now let's look at the pseudo code to understand this problem the first thing that we did was to change the group ids that is for whichever was minus one we assigned them a group id in order to avoid the confusion that is 
टू थ्री एंड फोर दैट इज वॉट वी डिड नाउ अगेन वी फॉर्म द ग्राफ्स एंड ऑल्सो द इंडिग्री फॉर बोथ ऑफ दैम वी फॉर्म ग्राफ दैट इज ग्रुप एंड आइटम एंड वी ऑल्सो फॉर्म द इंडिग्रीज फॉर वॉट वी विल बी डूइंग वी विल बी going through all of this before we will be going through all of this before and we will be forming both of the graph what is the criteria for every item before for every item before we will be adding to the graph that is for example if 4 is the before of 2 what does this indicate this indicates there is a graph from 4 to 2 so it is reversed here it is before first and then we will be adding it that is the criteria here and the in degree of i will be increasing in degree of i that is this two is increasing that is the first thing now not only the items we have to do we have to also do the group the first thing is we will check this if both of them belong to the same group do we have to change anything related to the group no we don't have to now if they belong to a different group if they belong to a different group again the same thing whichever group is before we will take that first and we will be adding to the current group or the ith group just like this here also it is changed and we will also increase the group index so this is the first way of forming the graph that is this will be our second step next what is the third step the third step is we will topological sort items separately we will topological sort groups separately right now now after we have topological sorted both of them what we will be doing we will be getting every item and we will be adding it to their particular group in the hash map this is what we did right we took all of them and we added it to particular group and this order will be maintained this order should be maintained why because this is indicated from this graph this order should be maintained and after we are done with that particular creation of hash map what we will be doing we will be creating our final answer that is in the group order if we look in our group order 0 2 4 13 that is how exactly we will be going we will get group 0 and all the items will be adding it to the answer we will go to the next group will be adding all the items and finally we will be returning our answer and there is one edge case here and this is one edge case in any topological sort problem that is in the output in the output if there are not enough items say in the input there are n items but in output there are seven items which means we are not able to complete all the task say for example there is an interdependency 7 and 3 there is an interdependency like this we will we be able to perform this task no this is one edge case scenario where the output size will be lesser than n in that case we will will have to return an empty list that is we will not be able to perform the task that is one edge case scenario and these are few similar and quite easy problem to understand this is direct topological sort so if you haven't understood the problem first go through this problem and we have a dedicated telegram group i have mentioned the link in the description and only after you have understood the problem very thoroughly come and watch this video once again or try to solve this problem by yourself you will be able to understand this quite fast thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe